Hi there, I'm Chris from Budget Cars. I'm doing a video for you on the Nissan Murano. So this is the one that you emailed about. This is a 2006 four-wheel drive 3.5 uh, V6. So like I said on the phone, she should have a decent amount of power to pull those horses. Um, obviously it depends on how big the float is and all that, that'll be up to you. Um, but like I said, I want to go over the car, I want to show you every little dent and scratch and stone chip and every little thing that I can find, so that way I can ship it out to Taupo and there's no surprise, you know exactly what you're getting and you're happy with it when it arrives. So, I'm going to start off at the front. Uh, starting off, you got the Nissan alloy wheels and she's actually rather quite nice and tidy. Um, I can't see any obvious curbing on here or anything like that. I'm not coming around to the bumper. There's a little mark there, um, but other than that, I think the bumper looks rather quite nice and tidy. Uh, those, yeah, a little mark there, but yeah. So it is, some light scratching there, but I think that should actually come out with a bit of cutting compound anyway. And minor scratches there, but again, cutting compound should be able to take that out. Uh, now coming to the bonnet, there's a few small stone chips, so there's one there. Uh, that's dirt. Most of this all seems like dirt other than that. Uh, there's another one there. And there. Uh, and there. But, uh, and these probably seem to be the most noticeable ones. But I'll try and get some touch-up paint chucked onto those so that way they don't cause any issues and they look nice and tidy. Um, obviously they won't look perfect but it'll look a lot better. Coming around to the side. Uh, looking at this door panel, she looks nice and straight. Ken can't see anything too noticeable. There's a few light scratches around the door handle there, but I'll chuck some cutting compound on that. That should take care of most of those scratches. Awesome. Oh, coming around, now you got this wheel here. Again, she looks nice and tidy. All sweet there. And she got the panel there. Now with the Nissan Murano's, um, you simply push these in to open up the fuel lids um, and then when the car's locked then this is locked so no one can get inside and siphon out your gas. And it looks like there's a little bit of touch up paint on there. Yeah. Coming around, oh no, that seems to come off, um, yeah that's coming off so that's all fine. Now as a Murano, like the newer ones I did the video on, this one's got the reverse camera. Um, I do believe, yes, she's also got the blind side camera as well on the front mirror, so that way it covers your front wheel to prevent you from curving the wheels when you park up in the city or anything like that. Let's have a look inside. Ah, there she is. Huge boot in these things. You got the netting and all that, and I'll make sure that it's got the tools and everything that's meant to come with factory and all that sort of stuff as well before you take it away. Uh, other thing I like about these, because my cousin's got one of these and we take it up north every year for Christmas, is they've got the chest seat belt as well. So it's nice and safe if you ever have a full, um, full family inside. And you got the door handles there that you pull and that will release, and usually they drop straight down, but with the seat belts in it tends to slow it down a little bit. And you've also got power sockets in the back as well. Awesome. Oh, coming around here now. Uh, you got another wheel. She's nice and clean. Uh, there's some light, light scratch in there. You probably can't even see it in the video because, well, she's barely noticeable. Coming around, you got your protection there. So that's because quite often you'll get the stone chips come up from the front wheel and it's going to hit here and this is to stop it from taking off the paint and causing any rust later on. Coming inside, you got your rear aircon for anyone at the back. You got the leather seats, so they're all actually rather quite nice and clean, well intact as you'd expect from leather. Yeah. Awesome. And you got this door here as well, and again, she looks nice and straight. Awesome. Well, now I'm going to take you inside. Now it's starting off, she's got a little bit of a rip in the driver's seat. She's got her electric seats, so that's awesome. And she's got a keyless entry as well, um, to go along with the automatic headlights. And yeah, see, so you got the button there, that's the button you press, and then it'll come up with on the screen to show your front wheel. Uh, other than that, you got heated seats and all that, which is awesome in this cold weather that we're starting to get. And you've also got dual aircon control, so your passenger can have a different temperature to you. Now, I'm going to have a look inside the engine bay, see what she has, looks like, and I think that'll be almost it. Ah, uh, here she is. 
Oh, see, it looks nice and clean. Coming around, can't see anything too noticeable. She gets all checked over anyway through compliance. And like I said, I'll try to book it in for an AA appraisal on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, and yeah, as you said, V6, three and a half litre, nice and sweet. And she looks to be a chain driven car too, so you won't have to worry about cam belts or anything like that. Awesome. Uh, well, I'll leave my phone number in the email. Give me a call. Um, any pretty much any time you like, I'll be able to answer unless I'm on the bike. And yeah, if you're happy with the car, check it on deposit, have it depending on the AA appraisal and all that. If the AA appraisal goes sweet, then we can ship it out to you. So it is. Awesome. There you go. Bye.